Good evening and welcome to The Tonight Show. I'm your host, Senator Papa Khatikhan Ambros, and we're here to talk about something that affects us all, our health. But tonight, we're not going to talk about the China virus that dominated headlines for the last two years. We're going to talk about the real virus that has been infecting our society for decades, Big Pharma. You see, the pharmaceutical industry has become the most powerful and corrupt industry in the world, and it's not hard to see why. With billions of dollars at their disposal, they have the ability to buy influence in every government on earth, control the narrative in the media, and push their drugs on the public at any cost. How many Aussies know that CSL is the biggest company in Australia? I wonder why the TGA banned ivermectin and HCQ at the drop of a hat? Or was that a cash splash? Don't even get me started on former Health Minister Greg Cunt-Hunt, whatever his name is, and all our clown health officers. That's another show altogether. Now, let's take COVID as our example. Big Pharma saw an opportunity to make a killing off of this virus, and they did. They peddled their fucking vaccines as the only solution, even though there were preventative, effective treatments available. They convinced the governments to spend trillions of dollars on vaccine distribution and administration while their profits skyrocketed and people died. But this isn't just about COVID. Big Pharma has been pushing their agenda for years. They've convinced doctors to overprescribe opioids, resulting in devastating epidemics. They've pushed antidepressants and other psychotropic drugs on our children, leading to a rise in mental health issues. And what's worse, they've been lying to us all along. They've hidden data, skewed studies, and suppressed alternative treatments, exercise, and vitamins in order to push their profit-making drugs. They've convinced us that their drugs are safe and effective, when in reality, they're often more harmful than helpful. So what can we do? Well, it starts with educating ourselves and demanding transparency from Big Pharma. We need to hold them accountable for their actions and demand that our governments Put our health and safety first instead of the interests of these corrupt corporations. But there'll be no royal commission into the handling of COVID because your elected representatives are bought and paid for by Big Pharma. Thanks for tuning in to The Tonight Show. Stay informed, stay sceptical, and most importantly, stay healthy.